Turning now to a Tennessee track and field legend headed into the Greater Knoxville Sports Hall of Fame. 10 Sports reporter Louis Fernandez has the story. As Jose Perea, the NCAA champion from Tennessee. Oh, Tony! Oh, Tony! If you ask four-time 800-meter NCAA champion Jose Tony Perea, he'll tell you he's not too fast anymore. If it's really sunny, because then they could, uh, I could be timed with the sundial. Sunny skies or cloudy days. For this Olympian, NCAA champion, and All-American, his life is all about family. And that comes in three different ways. First, there's the Knoxville community. Perea comes from a military family. He grew up in Puerto Rico, as a young Perea describes, with a love for a different sport. When I was in Puerto Rico, I, I played soccer. You know, I, I just started running track when I was in the U.S. Success came, and Knoxville came with it. The South was a new experience for him. I was raised with three TV channels, you know, uh, two Spanish ones and one English one. And I said my only exposure to the South was, you know, Deputy Dog and Hee Haw. So I just don't know much about the South. He fell in love with it because of his second family, his UT family, and the bonds Perea has felt since the first race as a vol. Because it, it, just, it just means something more. At reunions, Perea collects signatures from track legends past and present, holding on to a piece of that family history. And every reunion, I, I try to take a, another flag and just get more done. So it's, it's a really, really good long history, long tradition at UT, and we, and, and we really are a big family. And last but not least, there's his family. Two kids at Hardin Valley and another on the UT track and field team getting ready for his senior season. And they are the reason Perea can't wait to join the Hall of Fame. I've been blessed to win a lot of awards, and I mean, it's, it's awesome. But it means a lot to be inducted into the Hall of Fame for me because um, it's something that I get to share with my kids. And it's something that is kind of a win for our family, our UT family, because we got another one in. This one means a lot more to me because I'm because it's my family. In Knoxville, Luis Fernandez, WBIR 10 Sports. Again, that was Luis Fernandez mm -hmm. reporting, and the induction ceremony will be on August 7th. And I do want to mention real fast, I spoke with Dr. Bob Overholt right before the show started. He gave me some really great insight into Trey Smith's condition. I'm going to have more on that tonight on the Night Beat.